Hello there. In this lesson, we are going to understand and learn about the UI element called Stack View. And in the previous lesson, you remember that we were trying to uh, make auto layout constraints for each element of in this view but it is going to be very difficult for you if your application has very too much of complex view and too much elements on there so here we are going to use and understand about stack view which is going to make your life so much easier while making UI elements or UI screens or user interfaces so let's jump jump right into it and understand and how we can put stack view inside our views and how it's going to help you while making user interfaces so here we can create one more view controller we can just place it there or align it like that and in this view controller we are just going to first add the UI element called stack view now stack view has two two kind of properties means two different kind of stack views are there one is horizontal which is from left to right one is vertical which is from top to bottom so we can just take vertical or any one it doesn't matter because even if I pick anyone uh, anyone vertical or horizontal from here later we can change the same stack view to vertical or horizontal so I can place my stack view here now you see I have a stack view and uh, just to be visible I can change the background color to like gray of my stack view background color okay I don't know why the background color is not working but my stack view is here and in my stack view I can put some buttons I can place it place the button inside the stack view like this or I can place the button inside the stack view like this but but while putting the button here just be sure it's not like on the back side because if I put it there it is going to be underneath stack view not inside the stack view so if I need it inside the stack view the cursor should be forwarded like this that is that means that we are going to be putting this button inside the stack view so this button is inside the stack view let's just add a few more buttons okay and one we can add it like this okay so we have stack view like uh, we have stack view with three buttons okay and uh, stack view we can change the height like this and uh, we can change the width like this we can margin it to 20 from left and 20 to right okay and this is a stack we just ignore the red lines because uh, or we can just make a solution for it we can just align it to center horizontally and center vertically so it won't give you any error now you, you can see that we have a stack view with three buttons and in all of these three buttons we can just give a background color just to understand what is just happening okay now these three buttons are being set inside a stack view the stack view what the stack view does it combines all of the UIs and their constraint properties so it is going to combine all of the view and make it into a one view okay and as we discussed that stack view has different kind of properties now there are there is first a property called alignment now in stack view you can align the items to be to fill all or all of the required all or all or all of the uh, all of the available place uh, available space there or we can just align it to start 
center or at the end it depends on the space of the the individual ui but ui element also but this is a little complex to understand i suggest that you just understand the basics of about how the stack view works and later in the project while you are working on that you can just add you can just play around with all of these options and you can understand what is happening now center and fill fill means to fill out all the available space now distribution how distribution works is like we have three elements inside a stack view so distribution decides that how these three elements or whatever the elements are in there are going to be distributed or how much space they are going to take inside the stack view so right now if i see our property it is filled that means whatever the space they they own have is they are going to fill out that space but if we change our property to equally and if i change the size of this if i change the height of this uh, button because you see that it is not going to allow me to change the height of this button because this is filled equally so all of these all of these uh, ui elements inside are going to be filled as equally if some uh, this button has an height of 40 all of them would be having an height of 40 okay now let's just jump into right fill proportionally now proportionally what does proportionally is that it is little complex that uh, it is not going to be filling all, all of the item with the same height of or width it's going to check the it's, it's going to check the height height or width for each item like for example this button has a height of 50 or this button has a height of 40 and this button has a height of 60 so it is going to fill the stack view as uh, correspond to their own sizes this is a little complex to understand so just just for now you can grasp the thing and uh, just have a basic understanding and for the other options you can just check uh, you can just play around with them and you will understand how this is going to work and in the stack view we can just uh, apply the space inside the uh, between the elements also so you see this space element here we can just lower down the space or increase the space with this arrow key or we can just increase the space like typing the space okay and this is for the basic understanding you can how you can create a stack view and now just uh, let's uh, understand that how the stack view is going to be helpful for us while making constraints for multiple elements so let's just remove this whole view controller we don't need it now let's just come back to our login screen so in the previous lecture we uh, lecture we just put all of our design here and everything is in the place so if we go with the approach of auto layout constraints as a normal we have to align all of these elements as corresponding to each other and we have to apply lots and lots of constraints so here comes the stack view in the, with the stack view we can just add the elements to their specific corresponding uh, or in the stack view and we can just align them to the area and nothing bad will happen or all of the design all of the constraints will be set very easily so let's just bring in our stack view or we can or we can just have a very short cut key here I can find this field with, oh yeah, this is the field we can just put it like this so what we do we can select these two items first and we can add into stack view, stack view so in Xcode now we have a shortcut key also to just to embed the stack view we can come here and we can do come to this embed item and we can just select stack view okay so 
it's a vertical stack view and we can can increase the we can just change fill proportionally to fill fill So here in the screen, what we are going to do, we are going to add stack views, multiple stack views, and with the help of stack views, we don't have to add multiple constraints. So for constraints for each element, we can add these elements into a stack view, and we can just add few constraints to just to set the main stack view to the screen, and it's going to look good, and it is going to arrange automatically in the multiple screen sizes. So first what we can do is we can give the we can check the height and width and the height width and the height for this element and we can just also give the width and the height for this element and we can give width and the height for this button also you can see that we have this field and we can just put it right underneath the email first what we are going to do we are going to select this email and the email field and we are going to keep them into one stack so to bring out the stack we have a we can st bring out the stack from here also but we have a very good shortcut key also we can select two elements we can come back to this embed in section and we can add stack view it is going to automatically understand what kind of stack view you want or or maybe with the selections of whatever the wherever the elements are being placed in the screen and it's going to add in that element into a stack view we are going to do the same with uh, password and forget first we can select both of these we can come here we can embed in stack view so you see it is automatically detecting that your password and your for forget password here is in front of each other so horizontal stack view is needed here now we have to stack this stack view with this element we can select and we can embed stack view and now we have to stack these two this label plus this button also so you can see so now we have three stacks we can select all of these three stacks and we can embed them into a single stack view you can see that how the things are being aligned now as you can see that we haven't used a single constraint to add these elements into a very uh, into a stack view or maybe into this UI element so it is all into one stack view and we haven't been using any constraint and we have don't have to worry about where these elements are going to be placed inside this stack view but for the outer stack view we have to make some constraints and with the very few constraints we can just stack this element as per our design we have to stack we have to uh, align this these elements right in the middle of the screen so it is going to be very easy for you with the stack view we can just select the main stack view and we can align it to center horizontally and center vertically 
it is right inside of the view there is no constraint here and it is all right inside and you can see that with only two constraints we have added and constrained all of these elements with the help of stack view so they just do the same thing with this view we can select these two elements and we can embed stack view we can just change the properties from here fill or oh, sorry we have to first make the height and width for this also for this also this and this so now we can select these two elements first we can embed them to stack view for these two as per the same we can select this confirm password section or we can just bring this one up underneath this stack view we can select this confirm password and this field and we can stack all of these three elements combined as you can see that we can change the properties from here and we can fill them proportionally now we have four stack views or maybe five and we can just select all of them and combine them into a single stack view great we can align them to we can align the main stack view so center horizontally and vertically and with just two constraint we have stacked uh, we have stacked our stack view right in the middle of the screen so for this screen for this V stack, we have to change the properties to fill. So it is going to fill out whatever the content inside your views to the screen. And we are just going to check all of our views. That everything is fine. So our screens are ready and the constraint of these screens have been done by stack view. Surely you guys can also play with the stack view. You guys can change the settings. You can you guys can make very, very complex views with the stack view. Now in the next tutorial, we are going to learn about tab view controller, which is very, very important tool, which is very, very important UI element and in the in iOS and in iOS it is used abundantly so it is it will be very great for you to understand the basics of UI uh, tab view controller and how we can add, add multiple tab views like this we have in the screen you, you can see in the bottom I can zoom it for you these tab views and you can load multiple screens in a one single view so see you in the next video